And welcome back, Gamer Nation. SKS here with another episode of Rising Star 2. Last time we left off, we were working. I said I would come back later in February, but I decided to come back today and give you kind of an update. Um, because something big come up, we are actually going to... Let me go to the uh, city guide tonight. We are going to go to the, uh, I don't know if you saw that, the Louisville Palace Theater. Um, now, I think when you go to these bigger things, you don't get to socialize. So the American arguments are playing there, but I don't think you get to talk to them like you do when you go to these smaller ones, these smaller venues. So this would be interesting to go check this out. And uh, I have been working on getting their playing skills up. We're almost to 20 on me. Carl's at 17. 15 and then 18. I'd like to busk today. I want to see if our drummer of Sir Robin of Loxley, Carl Egan, actually goes up since his equipment puts him at 20 and I think the limit for busking is 20. So let's go out and do that and then we'll cut to the... I just wanted you all to see the difference in the hall because if it is what I think it is, it's actually on the other side of us. I'm hoping I can still bust today. Uh, we may have to remow it. Nope, it's good to go. We're actually got a lot of cash flowing right now, which I'm sure if we pick up somebody else that uh that I have to uh we'll have to bring them into the band. But right now I think we're doing okay. Everybody stayed out of trouble. Nobody's had any bad habits for him. Oh, he did get another point of skill. So yeah, it uh, does go up to 18. Now next time I should not I should not get any actual uh, skill point the next time we busk. But uh, let's head to the other place and uh, see what that looks like. Because like I said, I think this is the big one or one of the, it's obviously not the Yum Center, but I think it's a bigger one than we've been to. Uh, but let's check it out. The Louisville Palace. Oh yeah, you can see it's a little bit different. It's even got their name on the board. Holy cow. Let's watch the show. Oh, wow, yeah, look at this. This actually does look like the Louisville Palace Theater. I'm not even going to lie to you all. Um, American Arguments upstage. Look at this. I don't know what she's doing there, but that's uh, it's working. Yeah, you shouldn't jump too much in that dress. That's all I've got to say. Oh, they got a keyboarder who was going crazy. Holy cow. All right, yeah, I've actually went to a Rodney Carrington comedy concert at the Louisville Theater there, and it looks like that, so. Yeah, so we don't even get 160 bucks for us to go, wow. But lots of inspiration. That was cool. I'm glad you all got to witness that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to continue practicing on our songs, and uh, I'll meet you back when something big happens. Uh, I think I've got the works of a big song about the hit, so um, I'll see what comes up. All right, I was just sitting here piddling around and I have created a flat earth song, which is 21 song quality, which is not bad. So I will probably add that to the mix and that'll give us another high level song. We will call this one, it is about flat earth, so it predicts squares. That is perfect. And there is our song, and we will work on that. And when I come back, we will practice our four songs, I think, that we have now. Because, uh, oh, we got five. One more, and we can actually start doing gigs, but we've got to get better at playing. So it looks like some more busk and all that good stuff. So let's get that going and get these up. I want them to be at least 90 before we play them. All right, so right after I made the one song, I just made another one called Anyone is an Apparatus. It is a love song. Since this song has not been recorded, you can forget this song and salvage that is. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. But any view lyrics. What? Oh, my God. Are you telling me that this game? Anyone is an apparatus, a love song by SKS. I am holding out for you and dreaming of all your love, filling my rage, 
love my rage. I want to be more than just your friend. Your love surrounds me in every single way. For to see me is to love me. Is it not black or white? For you to feel your love just makes me whole. And I shall be ruled by love. I shall be ruled. Road to the 18 feet of sand. Road to the funeral of souls. Roll to the dark side of love to lose the ones we love. But I know the man upstairs. I love him with all my heart. For to see me is to love me. Is it not black or white? For you to feel your love just makes me whole. And I shall be ruled by love. I shall be ruled. You will learn to love the game before you begin. For to see me is to love me. Is it not black or white? For to feel your love just makes me whole. And I shall be ruled by love. I shall be ruled. Holy cow. Um... <laughs> It's a masterpiece. So anyway, what's important about that, going back to our song list, is we now have six songs. So therefore, we have enough to play our first gig. But we've got to get this play skill up to about 90 on each one of them. And I'm worried about the popularity of these attitudes changing. Uh, we do know, like I said, I don't think, is anybody ready? I'm ready to change. Uh, let's quit writing about love and write about anarchy because that's going to be coming up and i think i'll do that with him too let's get this off we'll do some anarchy yeah so we'll have some anarchy lyrics come up hopefully and that'll be good for the next thing that it changes into so what i'm going to do is with this song list practice 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 and some busking and then i'll come back hopefully in midweek of the third week of february and some of these will be up a little bit because even if we get five of them up and the other ones we don't i still think i would try to play just so you all could see that so uh yeah i enjoy doing this stuff off off stream or off camera um i keep saying stream because i've streamed so much lately um this is a fun game and i really enjoy this aspect of doing the daily stuff um and the guy is still improving it so let me uh cut to that and hopefully when i come back we will be ready for our first gig all right, we've made it to the middle of March. I went a little bit longer and I worked on a few things. Uh, I did continue busking after getting some of their stats up. Uh, SKS is playing is up to 24. Carl is 22 now. His equipment helps a lot. Margaret. Margarite? Marguerite? Whatever. She's 20. She's probably the lowest. But we're really trying to get her production up so that we can make better notes. And now Brody is above 20 as well. So I've been working on their EXP. It looks like uh, she's very close. That'll help us make better songs. Um, so far, I only made, I think, one more song off screen. And it's nothing amazing. It's just a 21. Uh, I may salvage this later, but I went ahead and made it so we could save these stats. Um... Back, I think I made before you all turned off its quality of 24. It's a cool off song. We're not playing really big things. We're not playing anything now. But as you can see here, we have six songs that are almost ready to go. So what I think I will do is the next call we get for a gig, we will take it. I'm still going to take them out and busk for experience and uh, all sorts of stuff. Um, I think we can actually go to the place and sign up. But uh, we'll wait a little bit. Um, I've been also trying to get the Carl's repair rate up, but he keeps breaking things, and I'm having to go back and buy crappy microphones. But that's okay. So let's go out here and busk. We'll uh, also swing by the music store. I have named almost everything in town. The hotels and everything all have unique Louisville names. So let's sell that. And uh, we will buy this mic here just to mess around. We got a lot of cash because I keep mowing and uh, doing things. But uh, you all saw the Yum Center, but even the photo places, Louisville Looking Glass Photo. Uh, the, the galleries and the printing places, I don't think that I've named because I just didn't want to spend that much time on it. But everything else is kind of unique. I know it's going to be generic when we go to other cities and stuff, but Louisville is our home and I wanted it to be a good representation. So we'll drive around a little bit and let you see some of that. Uh, we got tire discounters up here. We're going to have to go see them here in a minute. Here's the doo-wop shop. 
Louisville down, Moxie Louisville downtown hotel. Uh, the tin roof. We've been there before. I love that we don't waste gas. Uh, Stillberg Strings. That is a real place in Louisville. I think I left two. There's the Brown Hotel. I left Egon's music for Ghostbuster reasons. Here's Meineke. And I love Jesus' discount music. Um, I've not done the fashion shops yet. So if you know of Louisville fashion places, I thought about just using stores from the mall. I may still do that. But uh, other than that, you know, there's the Hotel Distill. Uh, like I said, I've not done any of the fashion places. Crestwood Music Shop. Fairfield Inn, Arc Studios, DS, DSL Studios, Howl at the Moon, Music Go Round. So yeah, just a, a lot of places. Chase Your Dreams, Studios, J&J, Louisville, Rising Stars, Music. So yeah, tried to do a lot of this stuff, but um, I just wanted to add this. I did rename the hospital too. Um, let me see if I can spin around here where you can actually see the name. Yeah, we got the University of Louisville Hospital. So I thought that was really cool. I think it's a really cool touch. There's the Gold House downtown here. But uh, we need to go up here and try to busk and get more experience. I really need Margaret to uh, level up so we can get some more. Oh, we already did a job. I'm a fool. What have I done? I've totally forgot that I already did it. Let's go ahead and practice our six songs that will be... Uh, we just have to make sure when we do a gig that it's only six songs, because we don't have nine. We could also start be working on these other two. Uh, the attitudes of them are really good, too, as well. So, uh, on developing new ideas, I've got a couple of ten notes here for Anarchy. I'm pretty sure that drug addiction is coming down the path. Um... Yeah, I put a six here. But again, we can't turn these six and sixes into twelves yet because we just don't have the points. I would love to, but we cannot. It would also give us more experience based on whoever is on it. I'm kind of nervous now that since I've got everything set up and ready to go that we won't get a call um, to do a gig now that I feel like we're ready. Now, once we get a gig call, I do think that we need to go buy a banner. Uh, I've got some ideas. You can make custom banners in this game. So I think we'll at least do this that uh, this episode, and then maybe the next episode we'll do t-shirts. Um, and I've got some idea for the first set of t-shirts for uh, Sir Robin of Loxley. I've also found out that you definitely need to come busk on days that's triple experience um, for the fact that you get 600 experience each. We should... There we go. Hey, SKS, how's it going? This is Bart Coakley from the band Melodic Key. We have a gig coming up that we thought you might be interested in playing with us. It's this Saturday. The Vin the Bourbon Hall 500? We are nobody. We would be the opening. Six songs. We can do this. We can do this. Thanks, SKS. We'll see you there. It should be a good show. I hope... Oh my god, I'm so nervous now. Okay, so we definitely need to go to town. We need to busk to get some more experience, because like I said, I'd love to get her leveled up. We need to go by a printing place to get a banner for us, since we're actually going to be on stage now. And maybe we should don some clothes. We've got the money. We have... We have really been, like, stockpiling money. We've not... Well, that's not true. We need to go by the place and get the van fixed. Uh, Bob's Gallery, are you what I'm looking for? I'm not sure. No, this is artwork for the house. Yeah, we're, we're not rich enough for this place. Um, anyway. Uh, let's just go to tire discounters. They should be cheap enough. Oh my god, you- Oh, it's a thousand do- We can paint the van. Well, okay. There goes a lot of our money. 
Oh, I didn't know we could do this. Oh. I was really looking for something with some green in it. What says... I wonder if you can do custom paint jobs. That'd be cool if you could do that. Uh, we're totally gonna do the beach, babe. And, uh, let's do this. There we go. We're rolling in style now. I did not know this was a thing, but tire discounters, you have... Oh, that's so cool. Alright, let's get our banner made for Sir Robin of Loxley. Alright, Sir Robin of Loxley. Look at ancient oh my god, look at all these things. Could do a bow. That would look cool. But I think we're gonna go way up. I've already got the picture designed, so let me just pull it up, and I'll show it when I get my banner complete. And there we go. Sir Robin of Loxley, our banner for the opening gig is completed. We will buy this banner design. This is Sir Robin. And we are ready to go. I wish you could put a little black outline around the white. I know you could change the font. But we're kind of locked into it now. We can always make it fancier. Maybe if we get bigger, we can mess with some other stuff. I was kind of nervous creating it, but I think we're good. All right, so our banner is made. We are ready for an opening gig this Saturday. All right, here we go. It is Saturday, March 18th, 2006. And today, tonight, we have our first gig at the Bourbon Hall here in Louisville. I'm glad we held off playing before we were ready, since it's going to be at the Bourbon Hall. Like, we, yeah, we're the opening act, but we are... It's a big hall. I think, I think it said it set 500 people. That's usually you start at one of those little dive bars and work your way up. So most people play before this. I decided in for this Let's Play that we would hold on and wait. The only thing I've not really done, we've got a banner. I think it's amazing. I know you all are going to love it. Can't wait to see the comments on that. T-shirt ideas are coming. I've got to come up with an idea. I want us all to kind of be part of a band, but I want everybody to be unique. So ideas for Carl, Marguerite, and Brody, let me know. I kind of already know what I'm going to wear as the lead singer if it's in the game. If not, I don't know, but I think we need to get at least one popularity before we even think about dressing up for the road. Let's take a look at them. Everybody kind of gets along with each other. We have no popularity. We only have a reputation of six. Um, yeah, we don't have any merch to hand out. Uh, we just got our songs and we'll have to see what happens. I think we it's across from the hospital, so let's do this. I hope we do okay at our gig tonight. Yeah, me too, buddy. Uh, basic musicianship. Okay, yeah, that's already on there. Drug addiction. Drug addiction is going to be the next big thing. Um, I've already started working on some songs because a lot of people are talking about that. I think I've even went as far to change my uh, my uh, stuff to actually do that. Let's see what she has to say. You know, a great way to make a little scratch on the side is printing up some T-shirts to sell. Yeah, that's a good idea. Recording some CDs to sell at your gig. CDs and stuff. I don't think we got enough songs for that. Um, but yeah, I've got drug addiction on me, drug addiction on Carl and her and oh we all four have it wow okay um well we should be good we need to make a drug addiction song and practice it <sighs> okay sir robin of loxley it's time to take the stage something swells us it's gonna be our last song Okay, what's their attitude? Okay, oh no, it predicts maybe should be last. His arm, 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, this isn't moving around. It predicts squares. Because that's the best attitude. Anyone has an apparatus, like right here. He smells beneath gardens. Something swells us. Um, I may do beneath gardens as the opening one. All right, so banger, 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 banger. Then they cool down a little bit, and then hopefully they're ready to go. We've got our banner up behind us. All right, here we go. This is going to look awful. I hope you all are ready for this. Our first gig. We are opening for Melodic Key, the Stable Transports, and Drab Gross. Wow, Drab Gross is really popular. I don't know how many people's here. We're about to find out. Please welcome to the stage, Sir Robin of Loxley. Oh man, 3% audience interest. Okay, that's not bad. Not bad at all. 5% after the first song. Okay, oh my God, something swells us. Holy crap, this is going way much better, but we are tiring the audience out. We're at 16% interest. 18, oh my God. Look at our banner. Okay, 24%. Oh my god, they like his... Uh, oh my god, I've, I've done this perfectly. We are hitting the stage. 35%, 36? Oh my god, are we going to hit 40? Oh, 39%. We almost wore the audience out. And it was a full house. Holy crap, that was like the greatest... It was worth the wait. It was worth taking all of February and working our butt off practicing and getting better for that. Holy cow. Okay, only 39% of the audience was interested, but that's almost half. The gig has been played in front of a sold out crowd of 500. Overall, the audience was moderately entertained by your performance. Your band had a good opportunity to hang out with other bands. Cool. Oh, we had members from other bands come and watch us. Oh, we got 14 fans that showed up. Oh, wow. We racked up tonight. Let's see what they think. Okay, Beneath Garden. Something swelled us. They really liked that song. And they really liked It Predicts Squares. But everything is happy. It's the weird part of the night. And we got some level ups. I don't think that could have went any better than it just did. All right. This is great. This is amazing. Um, okay. Let's get some more lyric ability. Playing 25 and then stage presence. Okay, Marguerite. This is... Okay, get her the music. Production. I'm going to get her up to 13 because that's big. We need that for making songs. Holy cow, I can't believe that went that well. <sighs> oh, man. Okay. Um, I wonder if we can sign up for... More bands may be added. So, like, if I click this... Now it just says to watch. I wonder if we can go there. Like, I'm gonna, let's try to drive to the Bourbon Hall. I need some help, so maybe we will help them too. All right, let's go inside the Bourbon Hall. People are here even on a uh, Sunday. Yeah. Flat Earth, that's already up there. Drug addiction, yeah, we're working on that. You got some horse sense about you. You'll make it in show business. Hey, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, opening slot. Oh. $184 flat pay. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, let's sign up. We'll play this one. Sir Robin of Loxley. Okay, we need to go somewhere else to play this uh, Saturday. What's your help wanted? Uh, I publish a zine about the local music scene. My usual street team is out of town. I need to get this issue distributed. Deliver these zines to all the magazine racks in the city. You know what? I want to see what this is. So, sure. Oh. So, future thoughts now is we need to really be thinking about uh, attire. Okay, good. You just got to run over them. Good. Nice. It's just like the hotel thing. I wonder if we have to come back and see her. Oh, I 
missed it. You know what? I'm gonna loop around. I'll get it last. I'm so ecstatic about doing our first show and it turned out that well. And I know a lot of you are gonna be like, oh, well, you practice. Well, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do as a band. Why would you go unprepared to perform your first show when you're actually trying to, like, break into the scene? I just don't think that, uh, I know, like, in the movie Motley Crue that they had on Netflix, they kind of just showed up, but they practiced their butts off, too. So I would say it was pretty realistic. All right, return to the Bourbon Hall, and then we'll find someplace else. If I find out that you threw the zines in the trash, I'll come after you. And oh yeah, thanks. Wow. So we get more experience for actually... For actually doing uh, busking in the park. Let's see if we can get a gig here. I guess if we get it popular enough, we could hire a manager to do this for us. And that would be really cool. Good. Hey, what's up, girl? When's your next gig? I don't know. You got an opening? Oh, you do? 450? Uh, oh, this is Louisville. This is why the, the stuff is so much more. Six songs? I didn't even check how many songs was on that other one. That's probably something. Okay, six and six. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, everything is fine. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. So we got two more gigs ready to go. And I think we will do those this episode to close it out so that we have three gigs under our belt and we are ready to go. All right, here we go. It's the day of the gig. It is also, I don't guess it'll tell me. But uh, it flashed up that it's Pink Floyd. He released uh, Dark Side of the Moon on this day in history. So we got the three times experience. So you can bet. Hopefully we can go busk. It's been a while since it's been mowed. I'm hoping it's still up just so we can get that experience bump. Yes, it's still there. Back to the Bourbon Hall. It's fitting with everything else we do. Ready to play our set. Anything big coming down the pipeline? Flat Earth. No, that's current. Break a leg. Flat Earth. Still. Yeah, these people aren't telling us any. Drug addiction. Yeah, we know that's coming. You know, a great way to make a little scratch on the side is printing up some t-shirts to sell. I know. We'll do t-shirts next episode. All right. I think we'll go with what we did last time. Uh, back is not ready. But uh, we can always throw that in at some point instead of his army as Selena. But I think we're good to go. We're getting paid $184 for this. Let's put on the show worth $184. I'll speed this up just a little bit so we can see what's happening. Beneath Gardens, 5%. Okay, something swells us. We're already up to 16%. It's going well. Oh, they didn't like he smells at the office too well. We're kind of stagnating. 30%. Ah, the tough crowd tonight. We did wear them down. 39%. Oh. We did play in front of a sold-out crowd. They were entertained. The crowd must have gotten paid today because the merchant... Oh, we don't have any shirts. 22 fans in attendance. And look at this. A lot of these guys come and watch us. Which, you know, that makes sense. We went when we had nothing... And we watched a lot of their shows when we, we had nothing invested. So it's nice to see them come back and actually do the same for us. Uh, hey, good luck in your gig tonight. Hey, thanks. I appreciate that. I need some t-shirts at your merch table. I know, I know. We're all about rocking out right now. We'll worry about clothing next episode. All right, uh, back and be here isn't ready to go yet. Um... It predicts swears. Anyone has apparatus is now second. So we'll switch that around. It smells at the office. Uh, Beneath Gardens has moved up a little bit. And those two... Oh, I know why I put that first. Maybe this will get us up higher. Let's see. All right, we're here at Headliners Music Hall on Saturday, March 25th. Sir Robin of Loxley takes the stage. Something swells us, the opening song. I just stand there. Look, am I even singing? Oh my god, I'm stomping, throwing around a little bit. Uh, yeah, we need to work on our stagecraft. We are definitely not... Our bass player, we need to get her to flaunt a little bit. 
39% again interest. Moderately entertained, slow night. So yeah, it wouldn't have mattered tonight anyway. What's going on here? Well, no, I've I've got the songs. They're doing pretty well. Wow, 9% jump on it. This It Predicts Squares is a really good song. Anyways, I think that's going to be the end of the episode. I call that a really good month. Three gigs, and we did really well. 39% is our level now. We've got another gig coming up next week to end off March, and then it looks like nothing on April Fool's, which is probably a blessing in the skies. I need you all to leave me some comments. Let me know how you want us to dress, and what kind of personality do you see from each person? So uh, I can't wait to hear what you're invested in. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. God bless. Always remember, make good decisions, and I'll see you next time. It's August, so you know what that means. Great thanks to these Patreon supporters. You should join them if you know what's good for you. If they were spare change, I would pick them up off the street and shove them into my pants. James Matisse, Azur Rain, Party Commissar, Nicholas Absher, Curtius, and Least Expected.